what's going on guys? Today, I wanted to touch on a subject that's been rolling around stoner sessions and communities for fucking years, man. And that is, what's better for the smoker? Is it quantity or quality? And when I say quantity, I mean, is it better for the consumer to get a product that's cheaper, but you'll be able to get a bigger amount, but isn't like the best top of the line? Maybe like a little bit like under like banging, banging kind, bud? Or is it better for you to get less of an amount, spend more money, but get a way better product? Something like, like when you open up the jar, like the shit just like shines and glistens because it has so many trichomes on it and like kind of like glows in the dark and like the smell is so dank that like it just hits you with the aroma like as soon as you like open the bag or the jar. That's what I'm talking about, like quality. Like quality, I mean like the like what you think of in your head when you think of like the top of the line, best weed you could possibly get. So before we get into it, if you guys don't mind to hit that subscribe button down there, I would really appreciate it. Any support helps. Also, if you can hit that thumbs up button, I would appreciate that too. But for real, for real, I would appreciate if you guys drop a comment and let me know your opinions on the topic because this is a controversial topic and I would like to know everybody's opinion. Let's get into it, man. This is what we're talking about, man. What do you prefer? Do you prefer quality over quantity or vice versa? My opinion on it is I like quality. I think that if you're gonna do something, you should do it the best it could possibly be done. And for me, if I'm gonna smoke cannabis, I wanna smoke the best cannabis that I can find. And that's just me. Now I know that some people feel totally different about it, but that's just my personal opinion. I think that most likely in most situations, you do get what you pay for. And what I mean by that is if you pay uh, maybe like a hundred bucks for an ounce and um, it's not that good, you know, maybe it's mids or just, you know, this is not a high quality like kind bud then you're getting what you pay for. So you might end up having to smoke more to achieve the same high. Opposed to if you get maybe an eighth of some banging exotic shit, maybe some hydroponics, man, you might not need as much to get high and you might be able to make it last longer. So in some cases, even though you're getting more, doesn't really mean that you're getting more because you're using it at a faster rate. Not all cases like i mean there's strains out there that'll straight up surprise you a lot of strains sometimes they don't even look or smell good but they're fucking high thc and terpenes and other cannabinoids and when you smoke them they get you super high so sometimes looks doesn't matter but most of the time I truly believe that your nose does not lie so when you can like smell a bud and it has like a pungent nice smell man and most exotics do like that's usually how I can tell apart weed like sometimes like weeds look good but like if you smell some weeds they just don't have a pungent smell and to me that's like I don't know I'd rather have a product that is high quality tastes good smell good gets you ripped you know that's just me and some people, man, like my brother's on a budget. So whenever his money comes every month, he really spends it accordingly. So he'll get the best price that he possibly can. Because in his opinion, he thinks that even if my bud looks better than his, smells better than his, and tastes better than his, he thinks that his weed and my weed will still get you high all the same. That's just his opinion. He thinks weed is weed. But... Every time that I have some exotic man, he's always trying to fucking get me to smoke him up. Because, of course, he's going to want to smoke the better weed. I get it, though. I mean, I've been in situations where I just couldn't afford good weed. And, of course, I was only getting what I can't afford. And some people are in those situations. And I know some people are in states where the, the fucking dispensaries are selling exotics for like ten dollars an eighth i mean i don't understand that like in my state like the dispensaries are ripping people i mean we're still in the infancy i guess like we've only been legalized for a little bit but still man like that makes me just want to like pack my bags and move out to one of those states right now just so i can walk into a dispensary and pay ten dollars for um, an eighth some banging i've never experienced that if somebody tries selling me an eighth for ten dollars i'd look at them like a 
like like it was there was like a clause or something or like I had to sign something or there was like a, something attached. I don't know. It's just weird to me. I'm on the side of quality. I like banging weed. That's just me. I want to know what everybody thinks, man. Tell me what you think. Do you prefer quality or quantity? Now, you guys know that this is a big stoner debate, and I know that a lot of stoners are watching this channel. So if you want to let me know what you guys think, whether you're on the side of quality or quantity, drop that comment. I will definitely get back to you, no matter what, man. Yo, this channel's called Blunt Talks. We're talking about weed all day, every day on this channel. Right now, I'm in Orlando, so I'm not in my studio. I'm on vacation with my family, so if you've been watching, you'll probably notice that I'm, I'm in a different background. I've been staying in, like, different hotels and stuff. I'm going to be back in Jersey soon, and I'll be on my grind for real, and I'm really trying to build the channel up, but I'm hoping that you guys can all help me out on that tip. Listen, guys, have a lit day. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and that little bell ding so you can get notifications every time I drop a video if you like these videos. But you probably already dropped off if you didn't. So if you're still listening, hit that subscribe, thumbs up, and don't forget to have a lit day, guys. Peace out.